Greetings. This is Mem Siswana from JS College in Standard Inn Campus. I'm one of the hospitality lecturers. Today we'll be doing food preparation level three. It's the continuation of topic three, of which in the last lesson we did the creaming method. Today we'll be doing the whisking and folding method. So we'll be doing the Swiss roll. So from now, this is our baking tray. We'll start by preparing our baking tray. How do we prepare our baking tray? We'll be using the non-stick spray. So I'm going to grease the baking tray with this non-stick spray. Then after that, I've got this baking paper. I'll put this baking paper on top of my baking tray. Then after that, we'll spray the baking paper again. This is our baking tray. It's prepared. Then from here, we've got these two bowls, of which we are going to use. These are our ingredients. This is the baking powder. This is the caster sugar, the water, the vanilla essence, the salt, apricot jam, eggs, as well as flour. So number one, we need to separate these eggs. That means we'll have the egg yolk, the, dish, the other dish will be having egg yolk, the other dish will be having egg white. That's how we separate the eggs, there is the egg yolk. This is the second one. There is the egg yolk. This is the third one. This is the egg yolk, and this is the last one. So now we've got two bowls, the other one with the egg white, the other one with the egg yolk. Then from here, what are, what are we going to do? I'm going to mix the egg yolk with water. 50 ml of water. 5 ml of vanilla essence. A pinch of salt, that is, a pinch of salt is equal to one meal. Then, we'll mix them together using the balloon whisk. Now our mixture is creamy and foamy. Then the next thing we need 250 ml of flour. Now I'm saving 250 ml of flour. I'm adding it to the mixture of egg yolk. This is our 10 ml, which is a tablespoon of baking powder. Then we add it into our mixture. Then we mix them together.
Okay, now let me use my wooden spoon. I'm trying to remove this better. Then this is our first mixture. On the other bowl, we've got egg white. We mix the egg white with the caster sugar. I'm going to whisk them together. This is the whisking method, whereby we whisk the eggs with the sugar together to form a smooth, creamy and foamy mixture. Alright, in the whisking method, we use the air bubbles that are formed during whisking as a leavening agent. The mixture has doubled its size, it's foamy and creamy. Then from there, we'll fold the two mixtures together. We don't mix them, but we fold them. So I'm going to put this egg white on the egg yolk mixture and mix them together. When you fold the two different mixtures, you need to make sure that you don't damage the air bubbles that were formed during the whisking method. This is the folding method whereby we mix the two different prepared mixtures together. Okay, now this is our mixture. How did we do it? Firstly, we mixed the egg yolk with the dry ingredients as well as other liquid ingredients. We mixed them together in a separate bowl. In another bowl, we whisked the egg white as well as the caster sugar. Then we folded them together. That is whisking and folding. So there is my prepared baking tray. So I'm going to transfer my batter into this 
prepared baking tray. And bake it for 12 to 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. The temperature is 180 degrees Celsius. Then I'll bake for the baking time is 10 to 15 minutes. Then for the moment I'll be cleaning the workstation. Okay, now uh, I'm checking if my Swiss roll is ready. It seems as if it's ready. How do we take it out of the oven? Number one, I've got my clean cloth here, the dry clean cloth. I sprinkle the cloth with the icing sugar. Now I'm taking out my Swiss roll and transfer it onto my cloth. Then I'm removing paper and trim the Swiss roll. Then after trimming, the, after trimming it, I roll it using this cloth to maintain the shape. In the meantime, I'm, I'm cleaning the, the preparation area. Then there is my Swiss roll. I unroll it and spread it with an apricot jam. I'm spreading it with an apricot jam. and roll it again without using the cloth now. There is my Swiss roll. That is our final product.
Then this is our Swiss roll. There are two methods that you have used. The first one is the whisking method. The second one, it is a folding method. So this is our final product. So in this uh, topic, we are talking about the preparation methods that we, that we use when we bake the cakes and biscuits. We said there are five. All right, now we are done with our lesson. In this lesson, we are talking about baking cakes and biscuits. So we've got the main ingredients that we use when we bake the cakes and biscuits. They are five. We've got flour, we've got uh, sugar, we've got liquid. The liquid, it can be water. The liquid, it can be milk. Uh, we've got a shortening, of which the shortening, when we talk about shortening, we're referring to the fats, the solid fats, of which it can be butter, it can be margarine. Then uh, we also have eggs. So we spoke about the flour. We've got different types of flour that we use uh, when we're baking. We've got strong flour as well as the weak flour. The strong flour, it contains a lot of gluten. What is a gluten? A gluten, it is a protein that is found in flour, but it is only become active once you add liquid in, into it. So it uh, forms the structure of the cake. Then we've got different types of flour, then also the different types of sugar. We've got icing sugar, the icing sugar is like a powder. We've got the caster sugar. Normally we use the caster sugar for biscuits and we also have uh, the normal, that is the granulated white sugar. So those are the five uh, main ingredients for making the cakes and biscuits. Then when we make the cakes and biscuits, there are preparation methods that you need uh, to keep in mind, that you need to remember. They are five. We have the creaming method. It's whereby we cream the butter and sugar together, then we add the dry ingredients as well as the eggs. And the second one, we have um, the whisking method. The whisking method is whereby we whisk the eggs and sugar together to form a foam. Then you fold the two different ingredients together, of which the whisking method, it goes along with the folding method. Normally we use it when we make the sponge cakes or the Swiss roll. And then we have the melting method whereby we melt the butter. Uh, then we add the dry ingredients and also we have the rubbing in method whereby we, we mix together, we rub the dry ingredients and butter together until it forms something like breadcrumbs, then you add your liquid. Those are the five uh, preparation methods that we use. Then after that, we spoke about the biscuits. Even when we make the biscuits, we use the same preparation methods. But now when we make the biscuits, we also add the rolling method. So which means when we make the biscuits, we use the creaming method. You can use the rolling method. You can use the melting method. Then we've got um, seven different types of biscuits. Or we can say the procedures of making biscuits or the makeup of biscuits. The first one is the dropped biscuits. How do we do the dropped biscuits? You just drop the spoonful of dough into a grist or into a prepared pan, or you can use a piping bag to drop the dough. That is the dropped biscuits. Number two, we have the baked biscuits. As the name says, the baked biscuits, we use the piping bag. You can make the piping bag, it comes up with different nozzles, then you can make the different shapes that you want. Then number three, we've got the molded biscuits. How do we prepare the molded biscuits? We also call them the shaped biscuits. You can uh, mold them using the cookie cutter or you can mold them using your hand and press it with the, um, the fork. Then uh, number four, we've got the refrigerated biscuits. Before you prepare the, before you bake the refrigerated biscuits, you put your dough into the refrigerator, then you take it out, then you cut it into desired shapes and bake it. Then number five, we've got the bar biscuits. How do we prepare the bar biscuits? 
the babies kids, the prepared or the cooked dough is cut into strips. Then we have the sheet uh, biscuits. You just spread your batter or dough into a prepared or greased uh, baking tray. You bake and then after it has been cooked, then you can cut it into the squares. Those are the seven uh, different types of biscuits. The other thing which is important is that the hygiene is important in the kitchen. Make sure that you clean the preparation area before. How do we clean the preparation area? There are three steps that we use. Number one, you remove the food particles using the cloth. Number two, you use the hot water with detergent. Number three, you rinse, then you sanitize. Then after uh, preparing, you also you clean the preparation area. Make sure that you clean your preparation area and also the utensils and equipments that you were using. We also use the perishable items, of which the perishable items are the high risk food. The examples of the perishable items, it can be butter, it can be milk, it can be cream. So you need to make sure that you store them correctly in order to avoid the food poisoning. The other thing that is important during baking, make sure that you measure your ingredients accurately so that you can come up with the product of the good quality. So there are, we, we, we can use the measuring scale, we can use the measuring cups, we can use the measuring spoons as well as the measuring jugs. So for measuring the liquids, we use the measuring uh, uh, cups as well as the, the measuring jugs. Then for measuring the dry ingredients, we use the scale of which we measure the dry ingredients into grams or into cages. Thank you very much. For further questions, you can hit me up at the social media platforms or at GS College Standard in Campus. Bye.